Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here with the Hobbytown Hobbyplex for a quick uh, how-to. And uh, we haven't done one of these in a while, so I was sitting here working on a customer's car and I thought, hey, you know what? Uh, this would make a really good how-to video. Today we're going to discuss how to free up your frozen nitro engine. Now I have a 2.5 and it, the clutch works, but the flywheel does not turn. So that means that it's stuck. Now sometimes these are stuck uh, so much they've been you know sitting in your garage for a couple years or whatever and uh, fuel has been left in the tank uh, so it's gelled up and it's rusted inside of there and there's really no saving it. But on, sometimes you can take them apart and uh, clean them out real fast and then try to just, just loosen them up and if you can get them freed up enough uh, most of the time especially Traxxas engines uh, you can get them to refire. So uh, just very quick, let's discuss how we do this. So, I have a uh, two millimeter uh, metric Allen driver. We're going to take off the easy start. Oop, wrong way. Brilliant. So we'll take that off. You can see your one-way bearing there. Um, now, full disclosure, I've made sure that the one-way bearing wasn't the cause of this guy's problem. Uh, so now you have the back plate to the Traxxas engine. And so we're going, these are 2.5, so we're gonna change out our bits here. Obviously you can do this with, uh, with hand bits, but I'm lazy and I, I love my, my drill, so. Off we go. There's three. There's four. Now, every once in a while when I see a frozen engine, um, the uh, connecting rods bend or something like that. Uh, this one, we're good to go. So uh, you can see the rust inside of there. So this has been sitting for, for a little while. Um, but I think we can free it up. So all we're going to do is take WD-40. Uh, Marvel's Mystery Oil works good. If you have some after run oil, that works good. Basically any sort of lubricant um, is gonna be fine. So we just happen to have some WD-40 lying around. So we're just gonna spray it in there. And now we're going to attempt to see if I can get this. A lot of times if they're too stuck, there you go, see that? I'm getting it to move a little bit, and there we go. So there's top dead center, and oh, it's freed up already. So this this even wasn't that bad. I've seen a lot worse. I've used channel locks before on the flywheel. Yeah, there we go. We'll spray it one more time. So, uh, sometimes you know, sometimes it's locked so much. Um, I've taken channel locks and I've really just ah, tried to get at it. Um, basically, anything where you can hang on to the flywheel, it's best to leave the flywheel on when you're doing this, so you have something to grab onto. Um, in this case, just use my hands and it didn't take that long to free up. We'll hit it again. The nice thing about WD-40 is that it will when you close everything back up and fire this thing through it will uh, it won't it won't keep the, fire, the engine from firing up so all right so there you go so we're good to go we're gonna put it back together now now one of the things that you gotta watch oh one thing real quick it's always best to take the um, starting shaft out of your brass bushing here sometimes this is can be the point of, uh, of another reason why they're frozen um, in this case it spins, so no problem there. You can see these notches here, they want to be pointed up. And when we put this back together, you want to see that little pin right there pointed down, and you want to line them up. So, another way you can do it is get the starting shaft out 
and make sure that it lines up with our little our little pin and then we can just put them up oh, wrong way and then we can put it on there we go okay so now we're going to put them back together real fast And honestly, it's best not to tighten them all up at once, like I just did. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> you want to go in the star pattern and then and then tighten them after they're all in there. But whatever, we'll just forget I did that. Honestly, that's probably not the worst thing that's ever happened to this engine. And then. There's our easy start, and we'll change out our bits. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all back together in the truck, and when we come back, hopefully, this engine will be running, so we'll uh, we'll wait and see. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, let's uh, let's see if she works. So a couple things that I did first is uh, I made sure that the carburetor was at factory settings. Uh, the way to do that is to turn it all the way in, and then we're going to count as we unscrew it. So there's one, two full turns, three. Four full turns. Traxxas engines are factory at four out, and then the low speed is flush with the barrel of the carburetor. I put a new glow plug in it to make sure that uh, it'll fire up. If it do if it doesn't fire up, it's not the glow plug's fault. So I got a fresh battery in my starter. The truck works. Let's see if she goes. First time this truck's been started uh, from what it sounds like in a couple of years so uh, she runs pretty good um, she's got a little bit of an air leak on the top we'll uh, we'll investigate that further but as you can see she was completely locked solid we just took it apart and uh, loosened her up and sure enough uh, she runs so uh, it's a lot of fun sometimes to get a hold of a nitro car that's uh, in need of some help but actually get it running for the customer man that's uh, that's exciting so um, yeah, we got it going. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, we'll make you another video soon, but uh, thanks for tuning in to our latest how-to.